Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming here with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we uh, just got done talking with Yes Man. I decided I'd do it off camera because, uh, yeah, there was nothing really that special about it. Just letting him know, and everything else I had already talked to him about, so we're pretty much good on that. But first we're going to deal with uh, Jerry the Punk, and uh, talk to the old Mormon folk old Mormon fort people. Uh, I don't know why I went folk there. Because, uh, this, I'm, as far as I'm aware, the only Mormons in the game is in New Canaan. So, anyway. It's neither here nor there. Just gonna head over there and deal with that. And that's about it, really. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to them, see if there's anything they can do about him. Maybe joining up. I don't know. And I do know that there's someone I can talk to about upgrading Eddie. It can be bought. It can be found but can um, I'm not entirely sure where or when I can do that. I'm not sure. Why are my people not following me? When the... God damn it. <laughs> they... They went... To the fucking got stuff we're not even to sell. floor of the Lucky 38. And when I went to talk to Yes Man to let him know that the cons are dealt with, or that I'm not going to have them attacked by the Securitrons, they just stayed there. I didn't realize until I got all the way out here. Whoa, okay. I guess this guy wants to fucking. Do a little something something here. Okay. There. Oh, come on. How'd that miss your head? Fuck you. And fuck you. There we go. And there we go. Oh, I like that you were trying, though, buddy. Really, thank you for that. But I am perfectly fine. There we go. Good stuff. I'm gonna reload. Good. And... This guy had nothing else on him either. Wow. These guys were really, really poorly equipped to deal with me. <laughs> you have no idea how poorly equipped. Holy shit. Alright. Might as well. Oh! Now there's another one. Fucking with whoever this guy is. Or at least I... Maybe. I don't know. Oh, hi there. Uh, don't know why the Securitron's not dealing with you, but you're dead. I have no idea why there's a secure why there's a securitron over here. That's a better question. What the hell are you doing over here? Move along. What are you doing over here though? That's the question. Whoa, okay. This guy came out of nowhere. And now they're all dead. Okay, good. Good shit. And he had basically nothing. Okay. Is there any more? I should probably clear out the streets for other people before problems arise for everyone. But, no, it doesn't seem like there's any other thugs. But you gotta love Freeside. I'll tell you that much. Motherfuckers so desperate to get, you know, ahead in life, they uh, lose their head from bullets in their face because they decided to go after me. Because they're stupid. Anyway, gonna head back to the 38 get my people. I didn't realize that they, their follow was dis, <laughs> was disengaged. I didn't realize that. But that's fine. Ah. God damn it. No, you don't say. I was planning on it. There we go. Drink my soda real quick. Well, technically my coffee. It, it's in a can that's like a soda, so my brain decided to fuck that up. Alright. Ain't that a kick in the head? I should probably not be singing to that. <laughs> and then I will not stop. Alright. You two were supposed to be following me, you dinks. Come on. Um, follow me. Let's hit the road. Yeah, you don't say. I was 
planning on doing that, but you guys decided, you know, we're just going to sit here and not follow him. Because he didn't tell us exactly to move. Because that makes sense. I should have realized. God damn it. These two, I swear, are the most annoyingly goofy out of all the companions. I say that, and then I'll probably find more who are just as goofy. <sighs> There we go. Go to the old Mormon fort. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that about? Were you playing with his body? That is disturbing. On so many levels. And now there's fucking people over here fighting too. The fuck? What's this about? Another one? Hey. Okay. Pop and your head's gone. Nice try! I gave you that much. Nice try. Take your sheriff's hat, though. Thank you. And reload, and... Whoop. Now there's more of them. What the fuck was earlier? I went through here like three seconds ago, and usually there's people. Okay. Alright. That's annoying. Alright, take two. <laughs> of trying to go through Freeside. And again, they're playing with his body and just tossing it around like a ragdoll, which it is. And there's this guy running back to where he's supposed to be. And then there's these guys who are just itching for a fight and a bullet in the face, which I'll happily give them. And hopefully this won't make the game crash again. Hopefully. Key phrase. Okay, hey buddy. Have a bullet for the face. Boom! You're dead. Oh, that took his head off last time. Oh well. That's fine. Uh... I probably won't make that shot. Maybe this one. No. Oh, hey! Nice shot! Nice shot, Cass. Holy shit. That was perfect. Alright. And he had nothing else really that good. Okay. Will the game freeze again? Because it was right at this point where it froze. Nope, we're good. Okay. Now we can move forward. <laughs> Talk to the followers of the apocalypse like I planned on doing before things went goofy with them and then the game and then everything else. I'm just going to spin in a circle while I'm also doing narration. <laughs> Trying to make everyone sick. Well, I mean, not everyone. I think not a lot of people get sick at this sort of movement but if it was like really fast yeah i guess some would probably get sick then you could hear my controller clacking that's not what we try to do here at least not often <laughs> because uh dynasty warriors exists and that is a really easy button to really really easy game to button mash holy fuck i can't speak english anymore the game frazzled my brain when it froze as well. Uh, there we go. Old Mormon Fort. There we go. Now we can deal with everything. Kind of. Are those burned down to the filter? That's unhealthy. Okay. Um, who should I talk to about? Apparently they're up here. Through uh, Whoa, that was weird. That was a weird jump. Okay. And who do I talk to? I guess they're up there. Whoever there is. Uh, hey, Fargus! Are you here to Julie drop off Farkas. medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Um, not necessarily here for that. I met a kid who's unsatisfied with the life in the Great Cons. Will you take him on as a follower? We're always looking for new members. Does he have any particular talent? Uh, he's a poet kind of. He's obviously a bright sensitive soul and he loves literature. Um, do we have to embellish that much? Hmm. Well, I suppose we could always use another junior archivist in the library. That's, All right. that's a job. Tell him we'll accept him as a probationary initiate. Probationary initiate. Um, let's talk about Freeside. What did you want to know? Um, what's all the fuss about the water pump? Bill Ronte installed that pump a few years ago, back when he was sober. 
It was oh, okay. a major improvement for the community. Hmm. But lately, the kings have started charging locals to use it and NCR squatters twice as much. That'll come to no good. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, who are the kings? They've been Freeside's gang for the past five years or so. Hmm. Ever since Mr. House and his three families pushed everyone else out of Vegas. Ah. They've done a lot of good for the community, but that seems to be changing. The flood of NCR squatters has been an affront to them. I guess well. that explains the situation with the water pump. Usually, the king wouldn't let his crew bully folks around like that. Or maybe it's happening without the king knowing. That's always possible. What do you know about Mick and Ralph? Because we talked to them, they seem like cool guys, but we should probably get some other opinions. I know they sell a lot of guns, as if that's what Freeside needs. Yeah. I hear Mick handles the guns. No idea what Ralph does. Pretty much everything else, seems like. So, uh, the Van Graffs, who are all dead now, but we might as well get the opinion. Oh, them. They sell energy weapons, which are very popular with better-heeled prospectors looking to explore the wastes. Eh. Stay clear of them. Brother and sister are both psychopaths, though at least Gloria is rational. Jean-Baptiste likes killing. Well, they're both dead, so that don't matter none. What's the Atomic Wrangler? A den of iniquity. The Garrets do more than their share to keep the locals drunk or high enough to stay lazy. They're mm. thugs, on the other hand. They keep wired on chems to stay dangerous. What is it with Freeside and brother sister psychopath teams? I don't know, but that actually seems like a good literary plot point. <laughs> Talk about something what else. What did you want to know? Uh, things seem pretty rough here in Freeside. More than rough. It's a damn mess. Mm -hmm. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, yep. and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Well, can you blame them? Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. As man enough, is there anything I can do? There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community if they'd kick their addictions. Uh -huh. We need a regular supply of medicine organized. But the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Fuck them! Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. That's true. Uh... For medical stuff. I could always see if I could talk to the Great Khans. I mean, they're in the business of making chems. Usually. Maybe they could make the, uh... Maybe they could make the medicine that helps people kick their addiction to the chems. Maybe. There's an idea. Helping addicts? Yes. Old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. Uh -huh. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Fair enough. What about, uh, Bill Ronte? Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. Uh -huh. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. Fair enough. Uh, what about Jacob? The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. Really? Uh, where should I start looking? In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. Hmm. I'd start there. Fair enough. I'll see what I can do to help them. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. Absolutely. Uh, anything what? else? Uh, calm things down in Freeside. Where would I start? The big man around here is the king. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. Fair enough. He has the most influence locally, and some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some yeah. NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. Fair enough. I, well, I mean, of course they're going to charge NCR people double if there's supplies coming in and it's not going to the locals. That just seems like they're just going eye for an eye there. But if it does not really help at all, then I don't see why they're just being so stubborn about it then again i looking at current events i can see why it would actually be uh 
a little difficult. <laughs> Just a little. Uh, do you need med medical supplies? Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. Fair enough. What do you need? Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Hmm. Seems like you need a steady supply, not just whatever I can grab for you. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. Well, they're cut. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. They're kinda not going to do that. I stop myself from saying a word I try not to say. <laughs> At least in my LPs. Uh, yeah, they're kind of jackasses. Because, you know, they try to cut out people from, you know, helpful competition. Yeah. <laughs> nice save. All right. <laughs> which, mer uh, which merchants might be willing to cut a deal? You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrett's. Though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. Huh. Alrighty. What do you want to talk about? Uh... Yeah, let's... Okay, no talking. Fine, that's alright. That's fine, I guess. Um, gonna have to... Find... You know, whoever will help. Let's talk to Mick and Ralph first. Because, uh... They might be willing to help. It'd be really weird to have the Garretts join up in the business of helping addicts while also making addicts. But I want to see if Mick and Ralph can do anything about it. That would be really weird if uh, <laughs> if they were able to do anything about it. Whoops, that's the wrong button I meant to press. I meant to press the quest button. There we go. High times and... Didn't I... Didn't I get the quest for that? I just one I did. This kid's just walking around. Why are you just walking? I mean, the rat's right over there if you wanted to eat something. Jeez. I guess they expect me to kill it now. I guess. Well, I mean... That's one thing I could do. Sure. There we go. Right in the head. And then the kids go to eat the rat. Yep. That's about what I expected. Okay. Where are those addicts? Oh. Okay. Whoa! Well, his head's gone. Well, no wonder you were running. Local that is fleeing. Benny had it coming. Well, yeah, that's true, but... Okay. <laughs> that was weird. When did you get a machete? Take that off of you so no one else can have it. Fuck. Alright, where is the person I'm supposed to help here? Supposedly in this direction. And then there's another one over that direction. Uh, Bill, maybe? Or is this Jacob? Not entirely sure which. This might be... Hey, That's a yeah. drunk. Hi. Just a regular drunk. Okay. What the? That! I think she was whistling at Cass. What? I'm not entirely sure Cass swings for that team, or both teams, or all teams, rather. I'm trying to say bisexual and pansexual while not butchering the analogy. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I'm pretty sure she's just pure straight, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I absolutely could be wrong. So this is Jacob. Hello That's a lot of jet. Holy shit. Jacob, buddy. You have chems, buddy? I could really use a fix. No. Julie Farkas said you could use some help. Julie's a saint, but I don't need help. I feel young and strong. As long as I get my kins. Let's not. You look pretty bad. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. Who's supplying you? If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. My damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was going to turn inside out. At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? Huh. Later. Dixon. Take care of the drug dealer. 
who we do know. And if I recall correctly in my own personal research way back when, apparently Dixon waters down a lot of his personal stuff and if I recall correctly, ups the addiction factor for his jet. Which explains why he feels like he's going hey, inside out. Hey, you're the one who's been oh, going hey. around helping people around here, right? Yeah. The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Well, I mean, wow, thank you. Holy shit. Thank you for that. Dixon, you son of a bitch. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. No. Do you know anything about Bill or Jacob? Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, addicted to my shit. They can't get enough. Pretty hilarious to watch. You are going to stop supplying Bill and Jacob, or I'm going to shoot you. Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. You know what? I might be willing to stop if there's something in it for me. Not a bullet in your head. How about that? So the NCR is supplying you with cheap chems to keep Freeside down? Wait, man. You can't go around saying shit like that. <laughs> I okay, can too. Okay, get your point. You won't have to worry about me supplying those two anymore. Good. See ya. Just be happy I didn't put a bullet in your head. That's not a good idea. Oh, I don't care. I could not will. I could not will. Just remember that, buddy. All right. Now, we can talk to Jacob here. See what we can get headway. So you're back. Got any chems for me yet? Nope. I took care of the dealer. Now you can what? clean up. I need a fix now. No, you don't. I want to help you get well. Fine. If you really care so much, then give me some shots of fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm going to need at least ten shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers should be able to help. Combination of fixer, psycho, and buff out would do it in one shot. I am not going to tell him to be strong. That, while that would probably work, that is the most dickish move I could do. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the science route. Never thought about using that combination before. Should be able to get through this with that. There you go. I got the, deco the detox chems you need. So there Thank we go. Thank God. I thought I was going to die if you didn't come back soon. I'm gonna I was to right here. I was right to get some rest and detox. You've saved my life, friend. I try, man. Hey, I'm liked in Freeside. Enough news of your good works has been passed around that the people like you. Absolutely awesome. We are good. We are so good. We are the best. We threaten drug dealers because we are the best. <laughs> well, let these kids run around. I'm going to deal with uh, Bill next. I'm going to do him right quick before I end the episode. Wherever the hell he is. Seems like he's way the fuck over here. Alright. Huh, it seems like he might actually be around Freeside. Not around Freeside, the uh. Da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Atomic Wrangler. There we go. That's the name of the damn place. Which makes sense because that's what she said he would most likely be at. Alright. And yeah, he's over there. Near the Atomic Wrangler. She was completely right. Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler. Nope. Nope. That does not sound like a ringing endorsement. Alright. He's over here, which is exactly by the Atomic Wrangler. Hey, Bill. Come on, man. I'm dying here. But you're not going to be... You're not going to be seeing Dixon anymore, so you're going to feel like you're dying. Uh, Julie Farkas sent me to help you sober up. Julie? Uh, I love Julie. She's such a nice lady. She is. One time I was working on the water pump, and she came over, put her hand on my shoulder, and told me I was doing a great job. <laughs> great job, she says. Uh -huh. I just choked up and didn't say nothing. Compliments are so rare these days. That explains why you felt, you know, so necessary. <laughs> I felt so necessary for you. Uh, for her to be a nice lady and that you love her. I don't know. I, my brain fucked up halfway through that. <laughs> you won't be seeing Dixon anymore, man. What the hell? Why? I need alcohol, man. No, you don't. I need alcohol. I you do not need alcohol. You need to kick the habit, Bill. I can help you. The only way you can help me now is a load of detox chems. What do you need? At least a couple of doses of Fixer, a bottle of whiskey, and Radaway. 
Right I can away. take doses of Fixer and Radaway to gradually flush my system over time while drinking decreasing shots of diluted whiskey. This shit better be worth it, man. Uh, we got a science route. Regulating decreasing doses of booze with a couple shots of Fixer should do it. So I won't have to give up the rest of it. Uh, there we go. Man, you're one hell of an egghead. Yeah, if you think it'll kinda. work, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, absolutely. I got what you asked for. I felt like I was dying these past weeks off and on, but the worst is yet to come. In a few days, though, I should be free. Yeah, exactly. I'll head over to the followers and see if they'll help me through this. Mm-hmm. And that's all you need, buddy. And we got it. We, we will return to Julie Farkas. And we are now done with helping the people that she needed help with. And I'll see if I can re-up, or at least start the quest where I at least talk to um, either Mick and Ralph or the Garretts to get that stuff going. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> to get the uh, stuff for uh, steady supplies to uh, the followers going. But, uh, yeah, I think we did pretty good this episode. I think we did some good things this episode. Although I was morally dubious with threatening Dixon. <laughs> Just a little bit. But, hey, I don't care. That motherfucker... <laughs> that motherfucker addicted these people and addicts every one of these motherfuckers to his stuff, which is watered down anyway, on top of extra addictive. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. As far as I'm concerned, fuck him. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like these... Com <laughs> fuck. Ah, I'm still so angry at Dixon. I fucked up my outro. Ah! <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and helping addicts kick their addictions while also threatening the drug dealers that gave them their, their addictions for you. <laughs>